Welcome to the second match of the semi-finals. We have again Ruvente who won the first match with a mind-blowing strategy, I might add, against not non low kill. Uh, his opponent right now in red, as same as before, the colors did not change. And now for the second match, we are on Komorebi. So Komorebi, what makes this map special? We are in the five minutes on aggression phase. I might stress this out. Uh, yeah, what makes this map so special? It's short, uh, same as before, and it's perfect, perfectly symmetrical. And opposing to the map before, you cannot build an advanced base. Uh, so uh, yeah, you cannot build an advanced base. So both players will have to build everything in their side this time. Uh, it was a brilliant strategy by Red in the last match. It didn't work out for a few reasons. Uh, one of them being that the map allowed your player to, uh, the opponent player, to walk behind you and basically just uh, go around your advanced position. And he was just able to rush past it. So um, yeah, very interesting and very different strategy too. Uh, but yeah, now we're on Komorebi, the small, one of the smallest maps actually, and a jewel, uh, if you look at it from top, well, maybe for some people, for most maybe, or not. But yeah, uh, both players right now, same as before, just making sure to pump out the early Halbadir kits. And on the other side, uh, yeah, what is happening over here? Let's just check it out. I have two furnaces being built, so the, the stones are there now. First furnace is down, iron in brimstone is already there, so I think that Ruvente is going to start pumping out those Halbadir kits. The question is, right now, will this time uh, not non lull kill, maybe just go for the early rush, say, okay, non-aggression non phase is over, I'm going in there. Because he's one down, he will have to try something a bit more bold, uh, in order to win, because last time, even though he had basically the winning strategy, he kept his opponent his opponent on his toe. Ruvente found found did find the one way uh, to make his opponent um, well fall to his knees, basically, because he completely neglected his home crystal, and uh, yeah, that's a, a mistake which proved uh, crucial. But yeah, so right now we are seeing the furnaces are pumping out uh, the the iron ingots. Uh, the four lances are ready, so now the helmets are going to be made en masse. And uh, yeah, the altar is being made ready too, so this is a very quick start. Still 1 minute and 50 seconds to go on the timer, so a lot of time is still left. And his opponent right now is already up to four lances, so only half of his opponent and no helmets. Although he already has like the two furnaces ready to pump out uh, the helmets, so... This is only a question of time because now two more lances are going to be added here very shortly. One and two, there we go. So five lances are in the mix now. And uh, yeah, his opponent is... Uh, they are both actually great on the timings because one minute to go. And uh, yeah, they're getting very close to being full. Now Ruvente learning off his past mistakes, uh, putting uh, the well defensive barrier down around his crystal. Uh, like he usually does. Um, but yeah, one minute to go. Just writing it in so the players know that in one minute it's gonna be time to, well, to bring out the big guns. Actually, we had on this map already some very great battles. It was picked a few more times than Pioneer Pass, but way less than Colibri. Which, by the way, if we go to a third map, will not be played. Why do you ask? Well, for one simple reason. Colibri has been banned in the early map pool selection phase. So yeah, 30 seconds and uh, four helmets are ready. But we can see that uh, this time not non kill is trying to go around the issues he had last time, making uh, the whole defensive area and already pumping out two, one and maybe even two sentinels very soon. Now up to five helmets, 10 seconds to go. Uh, yeah, five helmets. Meanwhile, his opponent, Ruvente, is right now on 8-8. Eight, eight. So he, he has all his kits. Non-aggro phase over. And uh, now I would say that Ruvente has 
a slight advantage uh, because if he gets rushed uh, he will have all of the kits he needs or like slight advantage it's like disadvantage my bad because he only has an advantage on the defensive because if he attacks he's gonna have to face way too many uh well he actually he didn't put down the sentinel so actually it's even fight and now we can see uh not non level kill with uh six six peoples uh, going there to rush his opponent he already has the kits so thing is it's an even fight it's six against six no sentinels no whatsoever is involved although if he manages to get only one worker one halberdier out of position away he will just be able to and now he goes for the iron ingots that's a nasty trick all of his iron ingots are gone and now he's just trying to get one worker one halberdier and one halberdier is down it's now six against five and now it's fighting they he's trying to get his uh, altar now he's going for the crystal the thing is will not non-local be able to destroy us now he goes for the kids he put down two kids why did he do this uh, now it's uh, all out melee madness is happening right now but someone just died what did he have around he i didn't see it okay but it was one of non null kill uh, one of the red halberdiers died now it's five against five it's an even fight but even one just respawned so technically he can just pick up a kit and pursue it now it's five against five out here um, those with low health are trying to escape one already is back the other one two and now another halberdier fell now it's five against four but look at his halberdiers all of red's halberdiers are low on health will he try to go for again a stack a rack no he's just running back he's just keeping up the pressure but now one halberdier is isolated all of them are coming for him but now he's going for the base they are coming back actually what is happening madness at the base and now he's trying to get them is he trying to snipe one of them out of it but they're all low on health so any one of them can be sniped out of it and actually it's a very bad idea i think because now they're all in a pretty miserable situation is he just trying to get them away for the other halberdier to come back no he seems also to be running back to the base and now in hot pursuit reventive following the four halberdiers who attacked his base they are all low on health the problem is if he gets close to his base his opponent will have a healing ward and he also has two sentinels but they are not placed on the ground so this is a very ris risk risk high on risk i am losing my words what is happening but no actually four halberdiers they're all running back to their base right now uh, so now i think the first phase phase fight is over so a huge loss for Ruventi because he lost first of all uh, his crafting station which was in front of the crystal and roughly five no eight iron ingots i think it was maybe around eight he only has he has like five six left now so not a very big loss but actually many resources has have been lost and also uh two halberdier kits uh two people died actually well it seems like it two people died and there's one who is still dead so maybe the first one already respawned i'm not sure uh but yeah at least let's make a count he has three there two there one there so seven in total well because one of them is dead so six alive one dead Meanwhile, his opponent, uh, Red, has uh, two alive, six alive in total. Okay, so same situation. Actually, it's pretty much identical for both players because both lost one. Um, although I'm not sure because I remember that Ruvente had like... Okay, now all the kids are back. My bad. My bad. They were still somewhere. And uh, yeah, what an intense first fighting phase that was. And now we can see that his opponent... Just having put down the two sentinels, not a little kill, is coming back for a second swing at his opponent. He knows that he could have won the fight there, but he knows that there was still a bit more in it. So now he's just coming back for more. Five on the left side, one on the right side. Will his opponent see him? There's one halberdier being sent out to scout. And oh boy, he's going to meet a surprise because he's going to run into five enemy halberdiers. So he's going to be running back quickly. Yep, there we go. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ruventi would call all his peoples to weapon right now. There we saw it. They drop everything. Everyone is coming to get their weapons. So now, three halberdiers, four halberdiers, five. And is the sixth one also going to... What is the sixth one doing? Okay, the sixth one is confused. But he got the spirit. And now we have fighting around the crystal. Uh, all the halberdiers red in pursuit of the one who is low on health. But there's the wall. Is he going to get sandwiched around the rocks? No, they're all coming back. They're building a common front. And... There is the other halberdier who run around the map, so now it's six 
against five it seems, but two are on the crystal and one Halberdier is dead. It's a blue one I believe, but watch out, there's another one low on health, he might die as well. Easy pick for them and now he's dead too. Madness at the base once more, the crystal took a hit, uh, but it's still an even fight, it's still everything is in there. So now it's five against five again. At the crystal and even now five against six because one worker who just respawned came back with a new kit and uh, yeah again everyone of red is low on health everyone is having some difficulties but now Ruvente is leaving his base because he's being pursued but the problem is now actually there's no one in his base he's getting conquered and now he could actually just block his opponents while trying to destroy the base but now it's a broad all all out melee five against five because another worker died of blue, another Halberdier died. And now the thing is again, blue having all of his people basically full on health, red having all of his people basically almost full of health. Technically this fight would be won by blue and now he has to pursue him back to his base. The thing is, if he goes back there, he's gonna find a nasty surprise uh, because he will first find his opponents in the healing ward and second of all in the sentinel. And actually the first Halberdier is already back And now it's the five people are coming back to the base also they are healing themselves themselves as they run uh, and now it's a six against five and now blue has to run back and now the tide of the battle just changed but actually one of the salvages is running back so now it's five against five again and you can see that they all of during the the trip back and over they all basically healed themselves so now it's a big old five against five brawl and everyone is just going back to their side. We heard one of them respawn right now. Oh boy. Madness is happening. Madness, I am telling you. And now there's even another worker, well, another kit here. But the problem is he's out of kits. There's one iron ingot, so he could make the helmet. But right now, red is out of Halbadir kits. So if one of his people die, they, there's no replacement coming. And the question is, will he just try to keep them out of his base or should he maybe just send one guy over there and, you know, just go and attack the crystal because actually he could, there's even a kit there. But yeah, what is happening? Okay, so it seems like Blue made up his mind. He's trying to destroy the stone holding up the Halbadir, so he's trying to go for it. He told his people the problem is, as they are getting attacked, a Red is just gonna able to maybe kill one or two of them. And actually one Halbadir is dead, so actually now only three left? Oh my god, this is critical now. Now the Sentinels are down, but only two Halbadirs are left and there are five in pursuit because he lost three Halbadirs in this action. So critical loss here for Blue, because now he has six Halbadirs pursuing him, he only has two left three souls on the way so he will not be able to respawn them even until they get to the crystal and now critical pursuit here but will not non low kill be able to secure the one the one one score will he be able to equalize and now we can see that what is oh actually he has one worker in the opponent's base he just was able to destroy his crystal that's incredible so when did when did he get there and why didn't he do anything about it? Because there's an Halberdier kit, I think Ruventi didn't even notice him. But the problem is that this workers, this worker did incredible stuff. But now he has six Halberdiers against three. So this should be an easy win. This should be an easy win uh, for Ruventi. And there we go. Uh, six versus three Halberdiers. He's trying to target one of them. The problem is he cannot uh, make his opponent... Well, he just... Got pursued, but then, okay, it's five versus three. But first of all, one of them is low, so I'm just gonna kill him. And second of all, I'm gonna get your crystal first. And now we can see him. Will he try to destroy the crystal or the brick the brick trons first? Because now one of them is down, no, only two left. Two brick trons are left for Ruvente. One of them just respawns, but no kids are there. So now five, five halberdiers. Now the problem is that the souls are getting back, so he might be able to respawn one or two of them, but the thing is, his crystal is open and it's getting attacked. Now we can see uh, three Halbadiers pursuing the two, or like two pursuing the two who are pursuing the one, but you get the idea. And now the crystal is just getting destroyed. He's getting whacked, like getting a real old whack, and now he's trying with one worker to do anything about it, but what is there to do? 
because I think this is going to be a GG. Even the Halberdiers are running back because they know they cannot can, cannot destroy the opponent crystal before he gets destroyed by the Halberdiers in the base. So now we see that yeah, the two uh, Halberdiers are coming back, but there are four enemy Halberdiers left. The problem is if he managed to kill one of them, it might be a bigger issue afterwards. But will he get the crystal first? Because now there are only two left and yep, it's a GG and it's a 1-1 one, one score. Incredible second match. And we move on to a tiebreaker match. This is the semi-final I was talking about. Everyone, I we will be back in a minute. Stay tuned for the tiebreaker.